I had to create this video because I got some really good feedback in the comments in the video that's going to be following this one in the playlist. And the section of code they were talking about is this SQL open section here, which is going to be validating our arguments when we're creating our connection to the database. So when we create our database, we have our username and we also have our password. And how I have this written, this is just in plain text. So it looks like this is boilerplate uh, password. But no, this is the password we used when we created uh, my, our MySQL database. So let me, let's go ahead and take a look at our comment here. So um, like he was saying, uh, you know, the password was created when MySQL was installed. Yes, that is correct. It just looks like I just kind of made that up. But yeah, I used just the generic password for that. So very good observation there. And like he's also saying here, you got to be careful, uh, say, if you're sharing code and you're you know, pushing it up to GitHub, that if you just have it in plain text, it's very easy to accidentally send your password up there. Or even if you're aware of it, you don't want to have to bother changing that piece of code every time you want to uh, push it up to GitHub so someone else could utilize that code. So um, i got to say a lot, of, uh, a lot of thanks to the whole community. You guys have been great. Again, a lot of comments. Um, Thank you to all the new users in the U.S., Turkey, Taiwan, uh, Honduras, India. So a lot of people um, really uh, joining the channel, and I appreciate that. So thank you for sharing. Thank you uh, for the likes. Um, but anyway, uh, I say your name. I'm afraid I would say it wrong, so I don't want to insult anyone. But thank you very much for that comment. Very good one. Very specific on what uh, – very positive and just very specific on how to make it better. So. Much appreciated. Um, so anyway, we're going to go ahead and validate our connection. And so we don't want to just use this in plain text because when I push this up, if I push this up to GitHub, well, then I might accidentally expose my password. So another way of doing this section of code here is by using this section of code here. And what this is going to utilize is the, the OS package for operating system. We're going to get an environmental variable that we've created under a name that we've decided. So uh, when it's given this key, it's going to go ahead and give us the value we've saved to that key. And if you, you know, for your environmental variables on Windows anyway, if you go down to the start menu and just hit E and V, it's going to bring up your system properties and then you can just click on environmental variables. But the really great thing about this is by using this to get our password, if I push this up to GitHub, they, no one from GitHub can tell on my exact machine what I've saved um, in that environmental variable. And so and it could be really helpful in production as well because you, say you have a team of people working on something, you could have a different password on your, uh, on your production machine out in the wild than the one that your workers who are working on the code and improving it. So that way you don't even, you don't need to expose whatever that password is on that production machine. And it's just a little bit, a little bit safer. So what we have here is I'm just going to go ahead and print off my password, which I'm pulling from my environmental variable on my system. And so that way you can see it down here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and save it to password. And then we're going to go ahead and concatenate the stuff together. So uh, don't worry too much what all this means. We'll still cover that in the next video, but just kind of showing that you can grab uh, a, an environmental variable, which is just, you know, it's, it's safer as well and just really convenient. You don't have to go back and change, you know, hide that, you know, change that password say, should you want to share your code. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and save that and run it. And as you can see here, um, I went ahead and just, yeah, I know, I went ahead and just saved the word password as my environmental variable. But that's where that, uh, where this is coming from, because it goes and says, hey, let's go get the environmental variable with the key of MySQL underscore password. And then it returned the value of that key value pair, which was password. So, and we connected to our database and it worked uh, just fine. So, I wanted to cover that and just uh, wanted to thank the community more than anything. You guys have been great. I really appreciate it. Uh, a lot of positivity. So uh, let's uh, keep this channel going. So glad you guys are enjoying it and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you.